What is up, everyone? Happy Power Hour. It's Monday, September 9th, 2024. And we got markets up today. Dow up over 400. Yeah, I don't I don't have a power hour. I might have one for tomorrow, but I don't have the one Steve uses. Steve is out all week. So he is on vacay. So it'll be me all week. Uh Nasdaq up 160, S&P up 52. Let's see what have I done today? I have put on three of my TLC trades. One was a 20% profit and then stopped. And then the second was a 2040 and then stopped. And I just put on my first power hour and it's getting pretty off centered with this move up. So it's, um, Need it to kind of hold or come come down a little bit, and it got a wooga on in another account. So that's on the forty fives and sixty fives. So TLC. I'll show you kind of where I entered today. So I entered my first one at 944, 945-ish. So there was this push up, push down, starting to get a little bit of a consolidation here, I thought. Uh, so got in there, it came down on me a little bit, didn't do much, came up, got out of 20%, and then got, um, let's see, came up here and got off center. And then it started to consolidate a little bit right in here. I, I was expecting a little more consolidation and maybe even for it to come down because it was coming up to highs of day. So I added there. And then on this push up, it stopped out my first one. And then it started to come back down. I was able to book 20 and 40%. And then it came down just a little too far on this push down right here. Um stop me out and then i pretty much put another one on i was getting ready to put another one another one on anyway and so and then then i had this big push up and it kind of got me off center so I just need it to come down a little bit it's it's looking a lot better now actually um and then this morning day trade um, let's see, what did I do day trading here? Booked uh 585. So let's see, Tesla. I got in on a continuation to the upside, got in like right, right here on this little pullback. It really went against me, but then it came up and ended up. Um, shedding it as it started to come back down. So I ended up being a $280 winner there. I think Coinbase was a really nice winner. So Coinbase... Um, I had this really nice push up, pulled back, got long right here. And man, it really pushed up and just scaled out. And then I had one contract left, started to come down, and started to come down right here, and I just shed that last contract. So that was a, you see, that was a good out. And then I had a mighty 90 and square. That was a small loser. So in square, had a mighty 90. 
right here. And then it, whoops, where'd you go? Had a mighty 90 right here. So I, I, I got in right at this pivot thinking it was going to go down. Then I added to it up here. Continued to go against me. And then when it finally gave us two consecutive red bars, I got out for a small loss. That has been my day. Um, no slippage today, discounts. So... No slippage at all on my two stops. So right now my power hour trade is just right of center. So no adding to it. If I can book 20%, then I can... Um, Probably guarantee a green day there. Yeah, no problem there, Ken. You know, it's been a it's been an okay day for TLC. It's just some of the moves have been a little big. So, you know, I like to see some back and forth, but you know. Timing would have been everything today because it's, you know, this this push up here. I mean, it's it's what a fifty point move up, so that's a little bigger than you like. I think I was seventy wide on my first one. But just hoping things now are calm for Power Hour. Tried to just completely forget. Last week's power hour. I need about 20 cents to book 20% on my power hour number one. So that's good. Be nice if price would just sit where it's at. You're definitely overdue for, well, there's 20% on my power hour number one. You're definitely due for a calm power hour. Bit of my half my foot, my long puts for the power hour trade. Doubt the calls are worth anything. Yeah. Five cents. Might as well get rid of them. I got 10 cents for them.
All right, just got my next OCO order in. Our next profit target. Let's uh, see, power hour. If I didn't have one on, would I enter now? Only 15 wide expected move is 13. Let's take a look. Um, I mean, based on price action, yeah, probably. It's a little iffy with the 13 point expected move. Looks like you can get 20 points wide. I'd probably go, well, no, you can't. The 50s and the 65s, yeah. Yeah, I mean, price action definitely seems like it's okay, but yeah, it is a little iffy. Uh, I probably would say, yeah, I probably would go ahead and just, I probably would go ahead and enter probably. I mean, I might size down a little bit. I got a 25 point wide on my power hour, so I went with my normal size. I'll continue to have uh, some really great coaching sessions. Again, if there's anybody that wants to, well, I've got a little bit of time here, not much going on. And since I don't really ever share my screen. I'll show you the whole goal of, of the coaching is to give everybody something that they can have that they can actually physically have to look at. So, we produce a couple documents during the coaching session. So here's, I'm not going to show anybody's personal one, but here's what uh, the first agenda looks like. So essentially, we do a, uh, a plus delta. So we're looking at okay, what's going, you know, I ask a lot of questions. What's going well with your trading? And then what is not going well? And then we, we make a, you know, we have a long list of usually things that they want to improve on. And then we we determine uh, based on those areas that are, that are weak, uh, Let me open these. Then we take those areas that are weak and we develop a plan. So plus delta looks like this. And it's just listing things that's going well, things that aren't going well. And then we take these deltas and we plug them into this, which is uh, usually, usually two to three goals for, for them. And then we will brainstorm action steps that they're, they're to do between now and our next meeting. We determine how we're going to measure if the, if uh, it's, you know if these action steps were successful, and then in our second that we'll do that in our second meeting, and then we'll we'll repeat the cycle. So, been having some great conversations, but and so the, this plus delta and this this uh, goal sheet here, plan do study act. I, that I when this when I fill this all out during the meeting, then I email it to them. You know, encourage them to put it somewhere where they can see it every day, so that. Helps hold them accountable. So I've had some really good sessions so far. Not much going on tomorrow in terms of 
Let me see. In terms of the economic news, tomorrow is um, NFIB Optimism Index at 6 a.m., so nothing really tomorrow. But then Wednesday is CPI before the market opens. And then jobless claims and core PPI on Thursday. So, And I've had really good TLC trading sessions. I've, I've been profitable on, on CPI and PPI days because typically there's, there's that big movement pre-market. And then I've had some luck with some, you know, it just, it kind of gets the big movement out of its way and, It's been in a pretty reasonable range. The rest of the day after that, let me see, go back to July, I think it was. Was it June or July that was? I think it was June. What was the last date? July 12th. I didn't trade on those days. Hmm. Let's see June thirteenth. Yeah, twenty four hundred dollar green day on PPI day. And over four thousand on CPI day, so they were they were good days. Bix. Just below 20, 19.85. Wooga is up 17%. Okay, yeah, I was kind of started looking back at my other screen. Basically, I was saying that my CPI and PPI days have been profitable trading TLC, so I'll, I'll continue to do that on those days. Fifty-four sixty is my. Dead center of my Wooga. About 35 cents to book 40% of my power hour number one.
So I'd like price to stay right around 50, between 54, 55 and 54, 60. Dead center of my power hour trade is about fifty four, fifty five. <clears throat> Stocks, Tesla's up two and a half percent, NVIDIA up two and a quarter, Boeing up three and a third, right? Blockchain up about a little under seven percent. There are some stocks in the red. Apple's been red all day. Kind of surprising. They're coming out with their iPhone 16, something like that. That's all. What price to there's there's forty percent of my power hour trade. Our, our trade is just right of center, just barely off center. So there won't be any adding to it. Is that when it comes out? Yeah, my uh, my boys both have iPhones, but they're older ones. And they don't, they really don't. I wouldn't even think they, I don't think they'd even ask for the upgrade. Calvin, you should be doing pretty good on that power hour. Iron Condor, right? See Wooga up twenty two percent. Anybody else in Woogas?
que I'm in the um uh, Sixty-fives and fifty-fives. Yeah, I got uh, five twenty. I've got an evening of football planned. My youngest has a, his second freshman game this evening, so looking forward to that. Yeah, that Tyree Kill thing was weird. I, I, I don't know why they would have had to take him down to the ground. It, uh, that's odd. But yeah, I saw that and was like, "What?" Never. They never even said what is like. What was the violation? What was the? Yeah, I didn't see the I saw the video. I didn't see him kicking him, but I saw him having him down. I'm like, oh, I yeah, I didn't see that one of him get kicked. But yeah, that's 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 pretty BS. I it's puzzling. Plus we know who the guy is. It's like it'd be interesting to know what his moving violation was. Like he You don't you don't usually see that happen in a moving violation. You get a ticket or a warning and then you go about your day. Speeding? Okay, well. I wonder, I wonder if he got out of the car by him on his own or if he was asked to get out of the car. That's what I would like to know. Yeah, I'm sure there's more to the story than what we're all what we all see and know. May not ever know it. Yeah, I've been there. I went to the, went to the Super Bowl in the that Hard Rock Stadium there when the Chiefs beat the 49ers back in 2020. Steve and I were both there. Nice facility, that's for sure. Man, Wuga could use a little bounce. It's getting getting close to that short strike. Let's pass the short strike, actually. Get back up there between the short strikes. Good to see my Nebraska Cornhuskers beat beat Coach Prime and the Colorado Buffaloes Saturday.
I liked I liked uh, Dion as a player. Don't really like him as a coach. Yeah, you lose your head coach. That's kind of tough. Kind of figured Michigan would be a little down this year. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what a lot of people have been saying. They didn't have anybody to cheat. Uh, nobody was there to cheat for them. <laughs> I haven't really kept up too much with all that, but... Do you know once you win a natty and you lose coaching an entire coaching staff, you're going to probably have a little bit of a setback. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that Netflix uh, documentary. I haven't watched it yet. Really liking Dylan Riola. I mean, the thing about him is he's he seems mature beyond his years. Like, you know, you know, I I know it's only been two games, but he doesn't make like just ridiculous mistakes, like his decision making. And so, you know, that's what you need from a quarterback. It's you know. It's half being a being a great quarterback. Half of it's skill, your physical skill, and half of it's being able to, um, you know, your mental, not making mistakes. But yeah, Husker Nation is pretty pretty excited about. Dylan Raiola. He's big, too. I mean, he's the exact same size as Patrick Mahomes. And they stand next to each other. They're like identical size. Well, my power hour number one is still sitting... Almost dead center, so there's just no reason to put a second on right now. I need about 50 cents for 60 and out on it. I has helped little little bounce up helping the wooga. Really nice consolidation here at Power Hour. It's kind of really haven't haven't had this in a while.
up move helps the power the wooga, but it hurts the power hour trade for me. Steve's out all week. He's in Cabo. We both have a buddy. We both have a buddy that like owns a place down there. So I think he's staying at his place. I think he might rent it out as an Airbnb or something. Yeah, I never I never saw the kick. I saw him like I saw him like pushing him to the ground. Which again, I I have no idea why they even would have done that. All right, so getting a bounce here. That's far enough. Now my power hour trade is well off center to the right. And about ready to be stopped. And there it was. It was at 430. Let's see what. And can't see what my fill was. 435, so no slippage. Well, I've had two I've had 240 and outs today, which I can't really be upset with that. Thirty minutes to go. So let's see. I, I don't think I'm gonna take another power hour trade. Nah, ten wide. Expected move of 10, 9.9. .9. So plus 3,100 for TLC and th on three trades. I'll just, I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. E. Allison um, still doing trailing stops. So the Wooga now needs a down move.
11 point move in in uh, seven minutes. That's what I'm talking about. Like these moves just get to be so big in such a short period of time. Yeah, below 65 would be would be ideal. So plus 3,100 on my TLC trades. I'll take that on a day like today. We've got some big move down, big move up. I needed that. I'm still in the red for September, though, by 310 bucks. Looks like price is about 23 points above where it opened today, roughly. Hopefully it doesn't go up to the expected move because that would be another 13 points up, I believe. Well, Wuga was towards the, the bottom of my, towards the downside of my uh, break even. Now it's getting close to the upside break even. Fifty four seventy would be my break even. So need it to come down.
That's it. Come back down below 65. All right, all right, up 30% now. Kelvin, you got to be close to 40%, right? $0.40, cents? okay. Not, not a bad idea. It's been good price movement so far, but man, I could just, I could see this ripping up to highs of day. Our Cosmo just booked 60% for his power. Back down to 60. Uh, I might back, back to 20% for the Wooga. Four green bars in a row. Video trying to get to highs of day, I believe. Is that highs of day? Oh, no, not, no, not quite. Need a push down. Get below 65. Get below 54, 65. Mm. 
VIX down almost 12% now, down to It is having a little bit of trouble getting above, getting up, getting back up above 5470. It can't quite do it. Yep, definitely below 5470 because 5470 is my break even. Anything above that, it's going to be a losing Luga. Let's see a little pullback to 5460, actually. Nope, no Magic Mahomes for me because I'm usually doing TLC. One of these days I'm going to, it's on my to-do list to go through the course and everything. That's it. Keep coming down, baby. Stop at about And Wuga's at 40%, 42%. Uh, no, I've never really worried about the MOC data because Steve always does it. Yeah, so somebody else, I know there's other people in the Discord that sometimes publish it, so. Yeah, I don't trust this uh, price action here. Back up to sixty five and go and, and rising. Get back down there, for goodness sakes.
Um, 52 is when you're supposed to, but I'm going to go ahead and put an order in right now to get mine closed before this takes back off. Yeah, the, the back test says uh, at, at uh, 252 Central. All right, out of the Wuga at three at three twenty. So, not a profit target, but uh, about forty percent. Six hundred seventy million sell side, Elliot. Is that it? Yeah, nothing. Yep. So nice Wooga right there. Really nice Wooga. All right. So I had winners in... Um, I had day trading this morning, TLC, and the Wooga. So very nice green day overall. Looks like Wooga probably would have hit close to profit target here. It's 45 seconds from when the back test tells you you're supposed to get out. But that's all I've got, folks. So no, no uh, Magic Mahomes for me. So I will see everybody that is in our day trade day trading um, live stream tomorrow morning. Have a good night. We'll talk to you then. Peace.